the Hoffman codes, a method of compressing size of a string. So what does this mean? Suppose that we have a string A, B, C, D, E and we need to store it in memory for example. While storing A, B, C, D in memory, it uses uses the ASCII values in binary format to store the string. In this case, A has the ASCII value 65, B has the ASCII value 66, C has the ASCII value 67, D 68, E 69. These ASCII values are converted into binary form. For 65, it is 0, 1, 5 zeros, 1. 65 is converted into binary string of 8 bits. The binary value of 66 is 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0. 67 is 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1. 68 is 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0. And E is 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1. To store this string A, B, C, D, E, computer needs 8 multiplied by 5 is equals to 40 bits. But however, if we store it according to the Hoffman code, it will take less than 40 bits to store this string A, B, C, D, E. So what Hoffman code actually does, it derives another sequence of bits for these 5 characters A, B, C, D, E. Instead of generating this 40 bits, it generates a new bit string to represent a b c d e which will be of less than 40 bits that is the main purpose of hoffman code and and that is why it is called a compression technique compression in the uh, sense that the 40 bits of data for storing these five characters is reduced to less than 40 bits so in this video we'll see how hoffman code produces a bit string which is lesser than the original bit string to be stored in the main memory. Let's take a string of 20 characters. If we store this string using ASCII code of 8 bits, then it will take 8 multiplied by 20 which is equals to 160 bits. Here every character will take 8 bits. That is why this representation of the characters into bits is known as fixed fixed bit representation. What is our aim? So we have to use the Huckman code so that this the re required 160 bits to store this string could be reduced to less than 160 bits. So let's see how we do this. First of all, if we carefully observe this string, we'll find that the various characters that we have in this string is only A, B, C, D, and E. These are only the five characters available in this string. We will prepare a table giving the all characters and their frequencies. Frequency means how many times a character appears in the given string. For B, it appears 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. B appears 6 times. A appears 
1, 2, 3 and 4. A appears 4 times. C appears 1, 2 and 3. 3 times. D appears 1, 2, 3 and 4 times. And E appears 1, 2 and 3 times. 3 times. This is called the frequency of the characters. This is called frequency. And this is, these are the characters. Characters or the symbols appeared in the string. So, in the first phase, we have created the frequency table. Once we created the frequency table, we need to create the Hoffman tree. To create the Hoffman tree, we will arrange all the frequencies in the frequency table in ascending order. Then it will look like first one either C or E, C or E, then D or A, let's say D and A, then B, then B. These are the elements. Frequency of C is 3. Frequency of E is also 3, frequency of D is 4, A is 4 and B is 6. Once it is arranged in ascending order, we will take the elements with the list frequencies. Here C and E has the list frequency 3 and 3 and we will combine these two frequencies to create its parent. So we will sum it up and the parent will be 6. These two are now selected. Again, the new frequency is 6. This is considered as a new recreated frequency. So again, we will arrange this all these elements. Now the arrangement is 4, 4, 6 and 6. 4 and 4 will combine 4 and 4 now because these are the least elements from the frequencies. We will write down this 4, 4, this 4 is the frequency of D, this 4 is the frequency of A, then we will combine it to create the parent. This becomes the new parent. So these 4s are now created, the new frequency will be 8 added here. Again, these are arranged in ascending order. So here, what we will do, we will rewrite this Hoffman tree, redraw this Hoffman tree. So first this 6 will come, Any there are two 6s, so any 6 can come here. 6, this 6 is say due to the frequency of B and this 6 is the frequency that we have counted from, from, from two elements C and E, C and E. Then we have other frequency 8, which is computed from the frequencies of D, which is 4, and E, which is 4 once again. So this is D and this is A. Now these two frequencies, 6 and 6, will be merged to get the parent, 12. This 12 is created. Now these 6, 6 are taken. So it will be 12 and remaining frequency it a is 8. We'll rearrange it to 8, 12. Then this tree we will create again. The tree will be 8 will come first. 8. 8 is computed from D and A. D and A, then 6 will come, 6 will come, this 6 is computed from 3 and 3, we have 6 here as a frequency of B, we have combined these two 6 to form the node 12, then now we will combine 8 and 12. To form the root of this tree. 
t is created we will number the left and right child of all the nodes 20 is the root of the tree we'll number the rights as one and we'll mark the left hand side as zero we'll go to eight the right child will be marked as one and left one will be marked as zero we'll go to 12 left will be marked as 0 and right will be marked as 1 go to 6 left will be marked as 0 and right will be marked as 1 then once this tree is created with the numbering of their children then we will form the code for the characters so to create the code for d we'll start from the root then it will d is in the left side of 20 so it is 0 then we'll go to 8 again from 8 it is to, uh, towards left so 0 0 the code for d will be 0 0 for a it starts from 20 again so 0 then 1 that's why code for a is 0 1 code for b is 1 0 1 right of 20 then from 12 we'll go to the left that's why 0 and 1 and 0 then for C, this is 1 and 0, 1 and 1, 1, 0. For, for C, it is starting from 21, then once again towards right, that is why 1, 1, and it goes to left, 1, 1, 0. And for F, it is 1, 1, and 1. So these are the codes for different symbols or characters. We'll write down these codes in the frequency table created in the first page uh, a is 0 1 a is 0 1 b is 1 0 c is 1 1 0 1 1 0 and d is 0 0 e is 1 1 1 so this table shows the quotes codes for different characters that is available in the given string so unlike the previous representation using ascii code where one character was represented with eight bits now we have used different number of bits in different variables or different symbols based on the character that's why this is known as variable land variable land once we have the codes Coding for scheme. all the characters we can now convert this original message according to the codes which we have been assigned by Hoffman tree and then we will store we'll convert this message for in place of b we'll write down 0 1 in place of c we'll give 1 1 0 then again b is 0 1 a is 0 1 and this way we will create the message then me this message will be stored in the memory now let's see how many bits are required to store this message according to the Hoffman code in the original message we have seen that it needs 160 bits but here total number of 8 bits are required to store all A's in the given message similarly for B to store B we need 6 multiplied by 2 which is equals to 12 all c we need 3 into 3 which is equals to 9 and then for d we need 8 bits 4 into 2 8 bits for e we need 3 into 3 9 bits so total number of bits required here is 46 Okay, so this message will be stored using 46 bits rather than 160 bits. However, only storing these 46 bits will not be sufficient to retrieve the data stored in the main memory. The process that we have used to create a 46 bit string in order to represent the original information is known as encoding. While retrieving the data, we need to convert this encrypted data into its original form. 
original form and to convert the encrypted data or encoded data into original form we also need the information about the fact how or what code is used for a what code is used for b and what are the bit combination for c all the inf information we need to have with us so that is why in order to decode the encoded information we need to store this table as well for this table we need two things one is the list of characters other one is their encoding scheme so to moreover these characters we have to use the ascii code to store these five characters we need 5 into 8 which is equals to 40 bits and also there are bit patterns for the encoding bit patterns of 5 bits required total of 12 bits so total number of bits required to store this information is equals to 46 bits plus 52 bits for storing the table so total 98 number of bits are required whereas if we look at the original message that was the requirement of 160 bits now we need only 98 bits so once we store the data and the table required we can decode the stored message in its original form we have the hoffman tree also the encoded bit pattern we need to find out the original message first bit is 1 we'll start from 20 since it is 1 we will go to the right side of 20 then 0 we'll go to the left side then we'll find the character b so i will record this one as b these two characters are recorded as b again we'll start from 20 the first bit is 1 we'll go to the right side then next bit is also 1 we'll go to the right side from 12 then we will go to 0 that means next character is c we'll record it as c then we'll go to the next bit 1 starting from 20 we'll go to the right side right side 12 from 12 we'll go to the left side because it is 1 0 then b and we'll record it once again as b so this way we'll encode we will decode all the bit patterns and finally we'll get the original original message